welcome back to the channel. On this video, I'm going to be writing the lyric graffiti, and Keith is with us. How are you doing, Keith? How's it going, Mark? And Keith is going to be riding the Aerial Rider Grizzly right there, and we're going to head to the racetrack. <laughs> so this is just a warm-up for the video you're going to see after this, where we're going to actually race one more time, because I got to challenge him for a third time to beat the about one year later, Grizzly. right? Yeah, it's been a year since we raced. So the we batteries did... are not new anymore. So we'll see how that has an effect on them. The batteries are not new. I'm gonna we're gonna ride conservatively over to there because we don't want to use up our battery. We want to have as much battery as we can have to uh, do this race. So go ahead, so Keith, and off. Fresh charge. I have about two miles on mine. So I'll say about two miles over there. I'm 57 and a half volt. That's right where I'm at. I'm 57.4. Yeah, so we're about dead equal. All right. So we're gonna head over to where we race. It's a industrial area where there's not a lot of traffic. And we are doing this uh, video on Sunday, June 16th. It is Father's Day today, so we suspect it'll be uh, good over there for um, doing the race with very little traffic that's why we always choose to go over there and uh, I'll tell you it's mighty cool out here it's about 50 degrees at the moment 10 Celsius it's overcast it's cold for June it's cold I've got I'm basically dressed uh, in my winter get up in the middle of June. I've got I've got gloves toque winter coat everything on because when you're riding it's even a little cooler than the 50 degrees so of course normal temperature for this time of year it should be 75 so we're quite a bit under so we got to get on to uh, 99w for a little bit here Zipped all the way up. We can't seem to get consistent weather here yet. We're up and down uh, with nice weather and then overcast or rain. And this is a sketchy uh, area right here. You lose your bike trail, or bike path, I should say. And then it comes back again, up ahead. That was close. <laughs> Looked like Keith was cutting it close there with the uh, curbside. We're going to use the uh, crosswalk up ahead to turn or to get across the street. Pretty wide uh, stretch of highway right here. There's four lanes. With a divider in between. And Keith, what do you think? Do you want to take that for a ride? Got the lime scooter right there.
I'm good. I'll stick to my bike. Hustle across the street here. All right, now we're good. Just taking it easy to get over there. I don't want to run my battery too far until we get this race going because I want to beat the aerial rider grizzly or give it one more shot. I'm trying to beat it. The aerial rider grizzly has the big advantage with that dual motor on the takeoff so it's it's got that super fast takeoff and uh, then you got to play catch up. Lots of rocks in the uh, bike path here. Or bike lane. Yeah, they're saying thunderstorms later today. Yeah, right about what, two o'clock? Yeah, that's what I saw around two o'clock. So hopefully we're okay for now. Yeah, we'll get back about 12 o'clock. Yep. Yeah. Do you want to start at this end or the other end? Uh, it don't matter to me. Do you want to start right now? Because let's uh, let's end this and we'll, we'll tease them. They have to tune in next time for okay. the actual race. <laughs> All right, Keith, well, thanks for getting me and you to the racetrack. And now if you want to see part two of this video, the race, tune in tomorrow. All right, thanks, Keith. All right, Mark. Thank you for viewing this video on our way to the racetrack. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Maybe you can make your prediction on this upcoming race. Who do you think will win? 
so far the Grizzly is undefeated in the two previous races we've had, but I think one more shot at it I want here. So let's try it one more time. I've lost a few pounds, maybe that'll help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you for tuning in. And as always, keep your wheels on the road.